I'm Miss Marin from Food Court. Today, we're going to play a pollination game. Are you ready? First, you're going to need three things. A piece of paper, some crayons, and your imagination. The first step is to use our artistic skills. On one side of your paper, you're going to draw a beautiful flower. It can be as big and as colorful as you'd like. Then, on the other side of the paper, you're going to draw your favorite fruit or vegetable. My favorite fruit or vegetable is a green apple. Your teacher is going to give you about seven minutes to draw. Ready? Welcome back. I bet your drawings look beautiful. Now, it's time to play our game. Can everyone hold up your beautiful flowers? Nice. In this game, we're going to be using our imagination. As you hold up your flower, pretend that you are the flower. Stand up strong like a stem and hold your petals up really, really high. Nice job. Your teacher is going to be the pollinator. In this situation, they're going to be a bee. The bee is going to fly around the class and land on different flowers and pollinate them. So as you're holding up your flowers, if your teacher calls your name, you've been pollinated and you can turn into a fruit. We're going to do this until the whole class has turned into their fruit or vegetable. Great job, everyone. How did you like that activity? Show me with a thumbs up, middle thumbs, or maybe you didn't like it. I love this activity. Let's talk a little bit more about pollination. How would this activity be different if there were five bees flying around? Would, we, would the flowers turn into fruit faster or slower? How about if there were no bees? Would there be any fruit at all? Thank you for joining on this awesome activity. I hope you guys enjoyed.